Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create external links and how to create email links. So in our project previously we created uh, pages, three of them, and we included some text with images. So now let's go ahead and create an external link. An external link uh, perhaps to the GVSU website. To do that you will highlight the text on your page. So first you have to type in some text and then you will go to the link button. In the link button you will type in the address or paste the address that you've copied from the address bar in the browser. I will go ahead and type this out as www.gvsu.edu. Notice the HTTP in front of it. So when you specify the protocol, that makes it an external link. Uh, external links versus internal links. Uh, here's the difference. If the link you are making is within your web server, so for us it will be www2, which means that our Excel page, our Word page are all internal links. External links go out to a different server. So www at gvsu is external or www.google.com, all of those would be external. So now I have a few options here like opening this link in a, in a new window, which might be the right thing to do so that users do not leave your website uh, and then lose track of it. For now though, we'll go ahead and, and leave that uh, as opening in the same window and say OK. All right, so let's go ahead and save it and see how it works. If you press the Browse button, you'll be able to uh, preview the page. I will just go to a previously opened page and just press Refresh. So now GVSU highlights as a new link. I'll go ahead and click on that, and obviously this works just fine. So this is our first external link. Let's create another one. So this time we'll, we will go to the Word page and where it says MS Word, we're going to highlight the page, press the link button, but now we'll try to find online an appropriate link. So we'll create a new tab and type in something like uh, MS Word. And so this is going to show us a few important uh, places where Microsoft Word is discussed. And we will copy the address. So now I'm guaranteeing that I have not misspelled the address. So we'll go ahead and go back, paste in the address, and then say OK. Save the page. So to preview our creation, we'll refresh the page, select the Word page, select our external link, and there it is. The link works OK. So we just created an external link, and uh, you may want to have a few of them within your site. Now let's create an email link. Now email links are useful because they will automatically open a local client for email, for simple mail transfer protocol. So here, maybe at the bottom, I will type in, uh, if you have any questions, please contact us. And uh, where it says contact us, we'll go ahead and create a link. Now you could have contact us in the menu at the top or anywhere in your text of the page, which is fine. But now we'll go ahead and create a link, and this time, it, this link is going to be an email address. So let's go ahead and do it. We'll say, uh, I'll just use your email address, of course, but we'll say, um, here's the email, and then select the little checkbox to say, the above is an email address. It will automatically add a mail to expression in front of the link. So let's go ahead and save that and let's check how that works. So this is our email link. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the website 
refresh it and now as you click on this email link notice that it starts with mail to it's supposed to open a local mail client if you test this in the lab you may get an error message that says that the mail client was not properly configured and that's okay i get this window that says hey uh, how would you like to open this email link any of these conditions show that the link is working that the email link is working if you try your website on your own computer where you are using uh, any of the um, email clients like Eudora or Outlook or um, Thunderbird. Any of those will work. So now that we've successfully tested the email link, uh, we could move it to other uh, pages. One last link to create would be our picture as a link. So let's do that. We will go ahead and uh, perhaps use the Excel page and uh, well, uh, let's start with the Word page where um, we will use the same link as we use for this Word. So we'll click on the image itself and then let's go to the link button and paste in the Microsoft link. That's okay. Now we'll go ahead and go to the Excel page. We'll go back to Google to find MS Excel. And we will make sure to copy this link. And now let's go ahead and paste in the information. Save this page. Would you notice the red icon tells me the page is not yet saved? We save it now. And as we navigate to our website, let's go ahead and refresh. And notice that the image now is a link. See the little hand icon? I can click on it, and it takes me to the Microsoft page. So I can go now to the Excel uh, link, and there it is. The image is now a link. So we looked at creating links. We uh, created an email link as well as an image link. I hope this is helpful.